I am not a morning person. I will hit that snooze button over and over again until I absolutely have to get out of bed. Staying up late and waking up late are two of my bad habits that I want to break. So I thought maybe knowing the science behind why sleep is important could help motivate me to catch some more Z's. I called up Dr. Sally Ibrahim. She's a sleep specialist at UH Rainbow Babies and Children's Hospital. I started by asking her to tell me a little bit about her work. Take a look. I'm a sleep doctor, I'm a medical doctor, so I see patients in clinic and I also read sleep studies. Uh, when people go to spend the night in the lab, we get some data and we understand what their sleep disturbances are. Um, and so I see patients with sleep disorders of all kinds, from insomnia, meaning you can't sleep to hypersomnia, too much sleep and everything in between that relates to sleep. And so why is sleep so important? Sleep is important for all the body functions, uh, namely in students learning. Uh, we do a lot of active learning when we're sleeping and the more sufficient sleep we get, the better and more likely we're going to retain our knowledge the next day. And so that's why a lot of teachers will say, get a good night's sleep because we know that memory consolidation happens in sleep. There's also a bunch of other things that, they, that happen in sleep. For example, we can regulate our sugar control, uh, regulate our, our heart health, and so many other things that are healthy for us to thrive. So if I stay up really late cramming for a test, I might not remember what I've been studying if I don't get enough sleep? That's a great question. It, you, you will retain some. Uh, you will retain more probably if you get a good night's sleep because that memory consolidation occurs during sleep. Now, some people will still do just fine, uh, <laughs> but, but we know that you're probably studying more than just on that night. And so every single night counts leading up to that so that we, you can retain that knowledge. Uh, okay. And so how much sleep um, should someone who is eight to 12 years old get? Great question. So pre-adolescence, you need about anything from nine to 12 hours. And in teenagers, you need eight to 10 hours. And so those are minimal numbers. Uh, the minimum number for teenagers, eight hours, and the minimum number for pre-adolescent is nine hours. What are some um, you know, tips that you have for when I'm getting ready to go to bed to make sure that I get a good night's rest? Uh, the tips are uh, making a regular bedtime, making a regular wake time. That's between one or two hours of, of your typical weekday uh, wake time. Some students, uh, my daughter included, <laughs> uh, who's in sixth grade, you know, thinks that it's okay just to get all your sleep on the weekend. But the weekend's only a couple of days. And we have that full five days to work, really work with. We want to avoid caffeine. And that can look like a lot of things, chocolate being one, uh, close to bedtime and, 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 and with dinner. Uh, and we want to reduce our stress levels and, uh, and make some, some progress towards bedtime when it's Time for bedtime. And you said that your daughter had some tips about electronics at night. It may be hard to get away from electronics. And so, um, and, and that's what she mentioned to me. She said, you know, kids are going to be on their electronics. You have to tell them what to do and what not to do. And she's actually right scientifically, interestingly. So the science is that some electronics may not be so bad. Um, it depends on what we're doing on it. And if those, so, so things that are very engaging when our mind is really active will be bad for us. Some of the things that may be more helpful are things like listening to music that's soothing, relaxing, not so um, alerting, uh, things that just calm us. There could be a, you know, a, a nice, you know, easy podcast to listen to, for example, something to put our mind in a relaxed position. So you got to be really smart about what you're doing at night so that when yeah. you wake up, you'll be smarter. <laughs> Choose wisely. That's right. <laughs> Spot on Science is featured in full episodes of New Stuff, a presentation of IdeaStream Public Media, connecting today's students to today's world. To spot some more science, visit newstuff.idstream.org and click the Spot on Science button.